Every day we stray further from God. This is the I like your cut G NPC. <laughs> we also have the swept to go with it. Welcome back to Necro's videos. This is Bad Mods. Let's take a closer look at the I like your cut G swept and NPC pack. First things first, I want to talk about the weapon. Now this. What are you playing Minecraft? That's right click, by the way. So guys, this is all based on some video on TikTok, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's about this guy talking about, I'm pretty sure, his brother's haircut. Um, <laughs> and then he smacks him in the head when he when he says, I like your cut, G. Uh, it, it, it got a lot, a lot of views. And it just became this huge thing. And I haven't seen it everywhere. I haven't actually even seen the video for myself, but I've just been hearing it everywhere. So I figured, you know what? Let's just do it. I got a request. If you suggested it, you'll be down below. Thanks for suggesting. If you want to suggest a mod, guys, do it in the comment section down below or my Discord page in the description. Anyway, we have a weapon and an NPC pack. I didn't think there'd be one, let alone both. You had to go behind someone's head, like Odessa here. Left click. I like it, Kudji. And off he goes, guys. Just like that. You can do. You playing Minecraft? To really get that full authentic feel now obviously this is a bad mods video because I like it, you. why why was this mod ever made i don't understand who would like ever even want you. this in gary's mod but that's the thing about gary's mod that's so beautiful is you get to make anything you want you don't have to make it good it doesn't even have to be like very advanced it just has to entertain someone that's all you need to do and that, I think, is good enough. I like you, you. All right, guys, so we could be doing this all day, but actually, you know what? I want to test it on different NPCs to see just how strong this is. Now, like you, you. the unfortunate thing, it doesn't work on every NPC. We're going to try some more extravagant ones now. Guys, why not try Ares? If we can even get up to his head, can the God of War survive a smack to the back of the head? Okay. Well, this is awkward. So you have to be behind them. You also have to find the Minecraft. You also have to find the perfect spot to hit them, which could be anywhere, really. Let me there we go. Theoretically, this should be the area where you'd want to do it. But I'm clicking around and I find nothing. Alright guys, so that was kind of a bust. Ares didn't really work out as well as I had hoped, but we have the Tyrant. Can we do it on him? Ooh, it does not appear so. So guys, it's very finicky. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on every NPC. In fact, it probably only works on the Half-Life ones. Now, of course, guys, this is not just a swept video. This is also an NPC. So this is the I Like Your Cut G NPC. We have 1,000 health. And by the way, I did already try it. Unfortunately, like never mind. It does work. I tested that for like 10 minutes and couldn't get it to work for some reason. But miraculously, while I record, it works. Fantastic, guys. So what do you say we let him loose? Show you exactly what he does. So he, he, oh my god! Look guys, Odessa's even running away. So, what he does is he runs after you with the scariest looking walk ever. He could jump, like look at this. He like crouches, and then he just hauls ass right towards you, saying these like weird sounds. And of course he spams the, oh you play in Minecraft thing. And once he hits you, he says the key words, I like your cut G. Now, I want to know the max distance. Guys, look how creepy this is. Look at this. Look at this freak trying to steal our soul. And it's so hard to dodge him. Like, I tried this on a few maps, and it was kind of easy to maneuver around him. But on Construct, it's almost impossible. Now, of course, you also hear different pitches in his voice, which just makes this even creepier. How difficult is it to hurt him? Not really that bad. But of course... You can't even no clip. <laughs> oh my god, he's like a f bee. Just buzzes around your ear, hoping for you to eventually stop and get that hand to the back. And eventually he'll succeed. 
This is... And look, he just stays up there. He's just hanging out. <laughs> oh my god. And then he just falls completely down. This is something straight out of a horror movie, guys. A nightmare, if you will. I don't think the video or the meme or whatever ever really thought it would take this kind of approach. But of course, because the creator made this mod, we now have to live it in full. Now, you can maneuver around him. It's not all that difficult. Um, it does seem like he needs to kind of get speed. But once he gets that speed going on a nice straightway, you are absolutely screwed. Even if you fly away, you can't get away. In fact, I find that when you fly, he comes towards you even faster, which makes it even more difficult to avoid him. Now, of course, guys, if you're constantly moving in no clip, he just kind of buzzes around you. Unfortunately for him, it's too hard to hit you while you're moving this fast. But if you stop for even a split second, you will automatically die. <sighs> guys, we knew this was going to happen. We have the maze. We have a like a cut G guy. Don't even know what to call this dude. But anyway, let's see how well he works in the maze. Please, please don't have him work. All right, here we go. I'm gonna. Oh Jesus Christ! This is not good. <laughs> okay, I think that answers our question. But you know what? That's not good enough for me. I, I want to get a much, a much bigger head start. <laughs> oh my God, that creepy ass voice. Guys, the real test is if he gets stuck. Because it doesn't matter if he can chase us through the maze if he knows where we are. I want to see him actually navigate. And... We're running into some problems already. He sounds as if he's just behind me. But at a quick glance, you can see... He is nowhere to be seen. We're at the entrance now, so I have no clue where he went. He could be wandering. He might have a wandering system involved but i just don't see that so guys um i like your cut g uses the vj base and this has a mesh in it which is definitely more so towards next bots however i'm pretty sure there are also nodes involved i have used vj npcs in this maze and they've worked quite well so i'm not entirely sure what to do to make this better because i'm pretty sure he just kind of doesn't want to work in the maze. Alright guys, I've spawned about six or seven of them across every part of the maze. I want to see if this works out better for us. Well, for him I should say. Now I think we're actually right next to a stalker. I just heard one. Yeah, look at that. What do you know? What's up, buddy? Oh god. I already hear one. <laughs> I don't know if that means he's close. But I don't think that's a good thing. I mean... I think the last thing I want to do is go towards his voice, but I have to go somewhere and there's there's an NPC every single corner at least. I even put a few near the center, which is around where we spawned, so surely we're bound to run into one of them eventually. Guys, I never thought a kid's voice would scare me so much, but uh, hearing that loom just in the corner of my ear, something about it just doesn't sit right with me. Okay, one is getting pretty loud, guys. I, th I think we're getting close to one of them. Another stalker. Jesus Christ, you scared me, bud. Whoa! That was like right in my ear. Oh, Shiza! <laughs> I was about to say, that was right in my ear. For the longest time, guys, I was walking around for like a good solid five minutes. And I saw nothing until, out of nowhere, I heard that big loud sound in my ear. Now guys, I won't show all that gameplay, but I will show just the last few moments right before I see him. And you could kind of get a good glimpse, and guys, that's the issue. He doesn't wander. He only starts coming after you once he sets his sights on you. But once he does, there is no escaping him. And that was it guys, take it as you will, this was a very goofy mod, but of course you guys know how the bad mod series goes. If you're new to this channel, bad mods is pretty much I look at goofy, silly, wacky, or just very strange and unwanted mods, but they were made anyway. No one asked for them, and yet, they came through. And they're very fun and entertaining to use in Gary's mod, especially to record, so I am very thankful for the creators that made these mods. It just... Uh, why? If you guys like this video though, 
leave a like down below. If you like his cut, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. All the links to everything will be down in the description, including the mods that were in this video, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, and other YouTube channels. Leave suggestions in the comments, guys. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. You can also go to my Discord, where you can leave suggestions there, or we can just hang out. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I'll see you in the next one, and until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and farewell. As always, the last video I did will be on the left, and a random video on the channel will be on the right. Thanks for watching until the end, guys, and until next time.